Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS and 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 13, which will be going over radar display controls and radar intercepts. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to go over the radar display controls or the VTB commands. So let's actually look down at our radar display. Alright, bottom right is going to be our power switch. You flip it down, that's the off position. If you guys are doing the cold start and you flip it up, it's going to take 30 seconds for anything to show up just because that's how long it takes to warm up. If you guys are flying for some reason with it off and you flip it on, it could take up to 30 seconds or it could be less just depending how long you have it off for. So wait for it to warm back up. Alright, so next we have our TDC brightness. It's going to be adjusting anything related to the TDC. Next will be our radar <coughs> our radar video contrast. So in air-to-air -air mode, you really don't notice it, but if you're in air-to-ground mapping mode, you'll notice it a lot more. Then we have our symbology brightness our marks brightness. Here's going to be our presentation session switch. So in the top position, you're going to have radar information displayed to you. In the down position, you're going to have pretty much a top-down view of a moving map that shows waypoints and designated yellow targets. So we have waypoint 1 right here, waypoint 2, waypoint 3, and so on. You guys can also adjust the range that this is displayed at. So with moving targets, or reference targets I was talking about, so say you lock a target right here and you drop the target for whatever reason, the plane's computer is going to continue to give you that reference of uh, the plane's previous flight path data. So say that plane is right here, you don't lock it back up, and it flies behind you, and you still have that information, you flip it down to the top-down view, uh, you can find out pretty much where it is based off that data. It's not going to be super accurate, but it will get you in the ballpark. All right, then you have your declutter switch right here. All right, so the left and right row is going to be how you're going to input uh, do target. So do target is a fake radar target created by inputting the target's parameters into the system. Again, with the left and right inputs. Once the parameters are set, the system will display the do man, which is the fake target, on the VTB in real time. So the too long to read version is you're going to set up a fake target. That way you can intercept it with your radar display. So let's actually set that up now. So how you're going to do it, you're going to come to the top left and you actually enter your information by flipping up. We're going to pause it now. So that's going to uh, start the data. Here is going to be the end switch, which is going to be the bullseye waypoint selector. If you guys remember anything from the navigation stuff, 0, zero is going to be your airframe's current position. You guys can select any waypoint you want, but we're going to do waypoint zero, 0 for this uh, demonstration. Here's going to be the range from the bullseye. So again, range from 0, 0 will be the range you're going to input. Target bearing from bullseye. So the uh, target's bearing from our position. And right here is going to be the target's actual heading. So say the target's heading at us. We'll enter that information there. Target's altitude. Target's mock and speed. Then target age. So how that works. When we actually unpause this, this will count up by seconds, and this is going to be one minute, and this will, or minutes and seconds right here. So say we get done inputting everything in like 45 seconds, you'll click this to 45 and wait for that to hit 45, and then you click down for validate. So let's make up a little bullshit fucking example. Ooh, I don't know if I can say that. Little example, and then we'll actually do a real uh, scenario. All right, so we're gonna do our waypoint zero, 00 for our aircraft. We'll say he's 40 miles in front of us. And then we're going to say he is, let's say 0 degrees in front of us. He's going to be coming at us from 180 degrees. We'll say his altitude is going to be 20,000, 8 Mach is good, or 0.8 Mach. Uh, let's intercept it at 40 seconds. All right, so now we have our fake target coming at us. And then, like I said before, if you have that yellow designated target, so say say this is a regular target that we dropped, and it gets behind you. It's not really behind us. It stays behind us. Your plane's computer will project out of somewhere back here. So say you want to drop that, just click down on this one. All right, so that's a pretty crappy example. 
we're actually going to set up the real example in the next uh, portion you see there. Alright guys, so now we're in the situation. So we're on a little combat patrol. We're going to go to waypoint 1 right here, waypoint 2, waypoint 3, then we're going to RTB. But we actually just got word that there's a bomber coming from the north heading to waypoint 1 to bomb the runaway. So normally a mission like this would have a GCI or AWACS giving you constant updates on the target. But since I just made this real quick, we don't have that luxury. So we're going to grab what we can from him. Alright, so at the bottom left, we have his altitude at 30,000 feet. His speed, 713 knots, so like 1.2 Mach, and his heading is 182. So that's his information coming to waypoint 1. We're actually going to use waypoint 1 as our bulls this time, and we're going to actually set up our intercept course off of waypoint 1. So what we need to do is grab the ruler from waypoint 1 to him will be 002 degrees and it will be 92 nautical miles. So that's what we need to enter from waypoint 1 to him. Alright, so let's unpause this and let's actually enter our data. Alright, so now we're going to use waypoint 1. Range was 92 nautical miles. Bearing was 002 degrees. His heading was 182 degrees. His altitude was 30,000. His mock, he said, was 1.2. Alright, was intercepted at 45 seconds. Alright, so now we have information on him. That's the course we need to fly to intercept him. Let's find him on radar real quick. Alright, there is our fake contact, which is his course. We're actually not going to intercept him in this video, but I hope this video is helpful for you guys. I'll see you on the next one.